friends and fellow first responders are praying for a speedy recovery for a Houston police officer who was shot in Kingwood yesterday. And we're also learning new details about the man accused of pulling the trigger. Michael Howard Dale is now charged with aggravated assault against a public servant. Our Devin Clark is live near downtown Houston with the latest on the suspect and the officer's recovery. Devin? Chris, the support for the police officer who was shot yesterday extends across agency lines and into that building. Tonight, the Houston Professional Firefighters Association offering well wishes to their fellow first responder as we learn more about the man accused of shooting him yesterday. Officer Cleveland has always been in my opinion, one of the nicest, most genuine people. Praises are pouring out by the Houston Firefighters Association President Marty Langton about his friend, 11-year Houston Police Department veteran Sam Cleveland. He is always ready to help, always ready to serve. That's exactly what investigators say Cleveland was doing yesterday morning at 200 North Pines in Kingwood. He responded to an alleged parking space dispute between a woman and 26-year-old Michael Zachary Howard Dale after she said Howard Dale spit on her. Police say instead of honoring officers request for his ID, Howard Dale shot Cleveland in the arm and another hitting his bulletproof vest. It, it just strikes a different chord when it's somebody that you know. Langton says one of the firefighter paramedics who rushed to aid is a close friend of Cleveland and because of the quick action Cleveland is now on the road to recovery. At the end of the day, we're all family, and we have to look out for each other, and we are very, very proud uh, of the work that our men and women did, and our thoughts and prayers now shift and focus on his recovery. There are ways to donate to Cleveland and his family, and we have information for that on our website, click2houston.com. Meanwhile, Howard Dale was booked into the Montgomery County Jail and charged with aggravated assault on a public servant. He was given a $200,000 bond. Reporting live just north of downtown, Devin Clark, KPRC 2 News.